Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. I am being faced with extremely attractive looking women wanting to beat me up because according to them, my introverted personality, they view that as me being extremely stuck up and they don't like it and they think I'm an asshole. The reason why I'm making this video is to share with my viewers what to expect if they are introvert themselves or a loner. I'm actually both. What to expect if they come to California. I'm giving you a rundown of all of the red flags, how they look, and where they hang out at. So let's get started. But before I get started, shout outs to all of my viewers. I said it before and I'll say it again, for without you I am nothing. Thank you for supporting the Brian Watkins channel. Please continue to do so. Don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. Alright, here is what has been going on in San Francisco, California with my behavior. Since that I am a loner, I am an introvert. I don't need um, constant attention from the opposite gender. And they don't take the time to identify my behavior. They just automatically view it that I'm being um, not stuck up. No, stuck up. Okay. And really, all I'm doing is working on my material, which takes uh, a decent amount of healthy concentration. Now, I can't speak for the next man, but women is a great distraction to me, just their existence. And I enjoy that they are. You know, I don't think it's a bad thing at all. And I never will get an attitude about it or become angry. But in order to get things done and to develop better content, at least for myself, I have to concentrate at a certain level to put myself in that atmosphere and to become better and better. I was coming into the coffee shop. I held the door open for two elderly ladies. And out here in San Francisco, California, it is common to see women pushing their dogs in baby strollers. So when they was coming out, I held the door for them. They had two cute little, I think they were poodles. They were really cute. They were kind of like, ah, puppies. So anyway, they thanked me. I said, you're welcome. Doc went to come in. I didn't know it was two other pretty young women behind me. And they can tell in my genuine behavior when I say, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you two behind me. They say, oh, no, you're good. Oh, okay, so I went on and just went and sat down. They came over and sat next to me. They were pretty, too. They, of course, they were too young. I think they was about 22, 24, or something like that. And I, I'm not thinking about them at all, period. I'm like, nope, they're too young for me. So I'm just sitting there on my phone doing my thing, right? The older guys were getting pissed. They were sucking around where I was sitting and the two extremely attractive looking young ladies were sitting by me were at. They were looking at me like you lucky bastard. I'm just like, I'm not even talking to them. I'm sitting here taking care of some stuff. They can sit where they want to sit. So what ended up happening, the first one she left, and then the other one was still sat next to me. She was on a she had a sharp laptop. I don't know what kind it was. It was a, a custom design one. It was really nice. So she sat for about twenty minutes. And I was sitting here eating me an orange, still you know on my phone. Now this one is the this is a nice coffee shop. 
lot of, or a lot of, lot of, or a lot of pretty women coming here. They be young, uh, middle age. Somebody executive type come down to get some coffee. And they be dressed real nice. So she packed her stuff up, and when she got to the door, you know, she turned around and looked at me, and I could read a woman's eyes really well. And she looked at me like, you stuck up bastard. We came over to sit next to you, and this is how you're going to behave? I'm like, oh, shit. But mind you, <coughs> I experienced the same thing earlier from another one, earlier today, about five hours before that. I came in to take care of some business, and uh, I was with the lady that was taking care of the business for me. So when I came into the office, she looked and didn't speak, and I'm like, you don't have to speak to me. I don't have to deal with you, so you don't want to talk? Don't talk. She got up and stormed out of the office. So when we were done, I went out in the lobby, and she was in another part of the little office room. She gave me the look like, oh, so you think you're better than everybody, huh? Well, if I had a piece of you, I'd do you real good and dump you and treat you real bad. And I'd look back at it like, wow, do it. <laughs> and I left. Then I went through, let's see, what happened? I could tell you all some more. This one happened, uh, oh, yeah. I didn't get a chance to make a video about this one. This happened last week. Okay, this one. She was about, about 26. She was real pretty. Oof. She was so pretty, I usually go out of my way not to get involved with those kind because I've dated those kind before when I was much younger. And they're the type that you never can do anything right. Nothing is never good enough. And they're going to dump you anyway. So I was like, whatever, cool. So she came out, and all the guys were all in. I didn't she didn't say nothing to me, and I didn't say nothing to her. And because she had a bruised ego, she couldn't believe it. So I had to use the restroom. So I asked her co-worker. I said, excuse me. I said, uh, do you work here? She said, yeah. I said, uh, can I get access to your user restroom? She said, I'm not able to do that, but she can. Of course, leaving it up to her, I was going to piss on myself. She didn't try to lift a finger or nothing. So instead of asking her about it, I walked out with her other pretty friend, not to try to talk to her, just to irritate her. You know, sometimes you could do more with the illusion than the actual act, and that's what I did. She looked at me like, you, probably if I ever see him again, I'm going to kick him in his nuts. Then, this was two weeks ago, I was at another place, and this one again, she was really pretty. Now, I didn't know this one called herself liking me. I probably would have gave her a little attention. But I, like I said, I didn't know that she called herself uh, like me or whatever. And uh, she went out of her way to be real nasty towards me for no reason at all. And I'm like, uh-oh, uh-oh. I said, you got to remember something, man. I said, let's, let's, let's you know, take a look at her. In fact, you know, she's real pretty. And she looked like she was in her early 20s. So imagine from the time that she could hear and understand human beings' language. She's been told from that time all the way up to now how pretty she is. And according to her, she's viewing you as an asshole because you are not drooling over her. Oh, of course, only to be told, no, like Ice Cube said in one of his songs, a bitch is a bitch. Well, well her, uh, her hobbies is, uh, this niggas is a hobby. <laughs> and I don't consider myself a nigga. But... In this case, um, it's the intent that I'm exposing in the song, of course. So over here, use like women that are really, real, real, real pretty, where guys jump out of uh, 80th floor buildings to commit suicide if she breaks up with him. That's all that's pretty much around here. You see a lot of them. And like I said, you know, don't get me wrong. When I was in my 20s, in my early adult teens. I dated a lot of pretty women that looked like them. It, it was cool. You know, it's just that only thing about them is that they're more of a headache than pleasure. You know, it's like the finer they are to me, the worst time I'm going to have with them because of the fact I don't care anyway. And I know they're going to try to, you know, 
take me through the shit test and I ain't gonna pass, you know. So they just like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give him an extra, extra hard time. They already racking up, you know, pay, uh, payback tokens towards me. Even we, even before we get to the level of even saying, hey, hey, hello, how are you doing? And that's how it is here, you know, because they're, they're really pretty. Like another one came in about 20 minutes ago. She was fine. And she sat right across from me. And I could tell her body language. I was supposed to put down my phone and get up and come over to talk to her. Like, yeah, she's about 23. And of course I didn't. I, I, I was on the phone talking to somebody else. So again, it was the same thing. She drank her coffee, <coughs> came to sit back down, looked like, I'm gonna give your ass another motherfucking chance, motherfucker. Of course I didn't do it. She looked up, got went to the door and looked back at me like, you asshole. And it's sad because see, the only thing about those kind of women is they keep bumping into you. You know, they take it like, like I said, like a gangbanger that's in another gangbangers territory with, with the wrong color zone. You know, of course they're going to get heated. They're going to get fired up or flick some pain on that person. And that's how these are. only difference is they want to take the pains off. Now, don't get me wrong. You know, this is a wild world we live in. You know, anytime a woman agree to give you some pussy, that's always a good thing. But, it's the, it's the, uh, the fine print that I've learned over the years to pay attention to, and usually, you know, if 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 here's here's what I learned from it. Usually, if it ain't start out well, where we are not friends or generally, you know, uh, do not have a liking for one another, it's not gonna end well. But. One thing about women, they tend to underestimate me because I'm a laid back person. I'm an introvert. I'm a loner. I like being to myself. I'm quiet. You know, so they, they already figured that they got me figured out. You know, when they find out, they don't. And then when they find out, I know I live by real well. And I should be extremely arrogant on how well I can. And I'm not. I'm actually modest and cool and laid back generally a nice person that can't help to have feelings for me. And they don't like that. See? And that's when it get all fucked up and shit. So I'm in trouble again. You know. And I've only been here two weeks and three days. And I and, and, and I love being in California. I do. But I'm already in trouble with them. And they and they already extremely pretty. Like I said, these are the women that you see on the uh, magazines at the grocery store. At the at the party store, you know, <laughs> yeah, these are them kind. Of, you know, everything is in place. Ain't like how it is in the Midwest, but you may come across one that got a pretty face, but her belly look like she got twins. Okay, among other things, now nah, these they be hooked up for real, from top to bottom, because Bloomingdale's is right around the corner from here. And they be all up in there shopping, bags everywhere. You know what I mean? They're, they're <coughs> excuse me. They have the full package, but according to them, um, I won't bow down and worship them. So they must destroy me, <coughs> or what they used to show on those cartoons. When cartoons used to come on every Saturday, and there was this one cartoon I can't remember the name of it precisely. But he was going, seize him. Yeah. I'm like, no, wait, wait, where you think you're going? You made me have an aura cancer, you bastard. One woman, one woman said that to me. <coughs> Excuse me. One woman said that to me before. She said, you're making me come, you bastard. And these here, man, they be hooked up. Like I said, I'm just trying to live my life. You know, don't get me wrong. Being with a pretty woman is always a great thing. You know, I just understand that being in a relationship with them is bullshit. You know, it's 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 not it's not gonna last. So, you know, I'm not gonna be an asshole towards them. I just understand it's a game. <coughs> and in order to enjoy the game, at least for me, 
is to take it for what it's worth. Live in the moment. Have a good time. And understand that she's going to find a reason to break up with you and cheat on you anyway, no matter how good you are. And, and that's it. Okay, no big deal. There's so many beautiful women here. I wouldn't get an attitude with none of them. Because I'm like, okay, I'll have a good time with you. And as soon as you're ready to move on to another guy, I can move on to another woman. But let me know that as soon as you start acting up, Give her a call. You remember that song, Call Me? If you need someone to talk to, call me. Satisfaction guaranteed, call me. Here's my number in the damn. Yeah, so it's cool. But yeah, that's what's going on. They view my introvert behavior, me being a loner behavior. They view that as me being stuck up, according to them, AKA an asshole. So put your comments in the comment section. You know I want to know. Don't you go anywhere.